Hello, and welcome to another episode of Play With Me Toys for Kids. Today, I'm going to be doing an experiment with you guys, and I'm going to be using the Cosmos Kids Lab to be doing this experiment. I've chosen a special experiment here. It's called Mixing Colors, and we're going to be using three different colors, red, blue, and yellow, to make new colors. You can do this at home on your own if you would like. You don't need this set. You can substitute the color pellets for food dye. So let's see what else we need. I'm going to be using five test tubes, but you can also substitute this for little cups. Uh, three color pellets, an eyedropper, a stand, a bigger cup, and three more cups. We're also going to need an old spoon and some water to do the mixing. So like I said, you can substitute all of this at home on your own if you don't have this kit. So let's go ahead and mix some colors and see what happens. I want you to think right now what you think is going to happen, and then later we'll see if you were right. So first off, I filled up the three cups with 50 milliliters of water. And then I filled up the test tubes with about half full of water. And then finally I have another container for water, and this is going to be used for cleaning out the eyedropper. I have an eyedropper, a spoon, and three color pellets. So first off, I'm just going to break each color pellet in half. I don't need all of them. And then I'm going to drop this into the first cup of water. This is red, and then I'm going to drop blue, and then finally yellow. Next up, I'm going to mix them with the spoon and make sure it's really mixed up well. So here we have all of the colors mixed. As you can see, they're pretty intense. We have red, blue, and yellow. So next up, we're going to need the eyedropper. One important thing is that you need to make sure to clean out the eyedropper in between every time. So we're going to go ahead and do our first experiment, but first I want to show you how to use an eyedropper, just in case you don't know. So what you're going to do is squeeze on the top part of the eyedropper, dip it into the water, and then release. As you can see, the water goes up into the eyedropper. If you want to take water out slowly, just press very lightly on the top. This gives you single droplets. Or of course, you can press harder and it comes out quite a bit faster. So for our first experiment, we're going to take a little bit of yellow and a little bit of blue and mix them together. I want you to think about what color you think this is going to make. So first off, just squirt a little bit of yellow in there. Be sure to wash it out in between. And then some blue. And go ahead and mix it up. I'm not sure if you can tell yet. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and mix in some more yellow. I think I have a little bit too much blue in there. So go ahead and clean it out. And then I'll just mix in some more yellow. As you can see, it's made a really nice green color. So what have we found out from this? If you mix yellow and blue together, it makes green. Here we have it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to our second experiment. In this experiment, we're going to mix together yellow and red. I would like you to think right now what color you think that's gonna make. Hold on to that answer and we'll check it at the end. So first off, I'm just going to take some yellow and mix it into the second test tube. A 
Of course, I'm going to wash it in between. And then I'm going to take some red and mix it in as well. Finally, we're going to mix this together. As you can see, it has made a very pretty orange color. So, red and yellow makes orange. Now, finally, we're going to be mixing red and blue together. Again, I want you to take a moment and think about what color this could make. So, put some red in. We're going to wash out our eyedropper and then finally some blue. Alright, go ahead and mix it up. As you can see, red and blue makes purple. Purple is one of my favorite colors. So now we've made three new colors, green, orange, and purple. Finally, we have some more test tubes, so if you'd like to try out different colors, this is your time. Um, for the fourth test tube, I'm going to go ahead and try out mixing all of the colors together and see what happens. Again, just go ahead and think about what you think is going to happen. So I'm going to mix in the yellow, clean it out, mix in some blue, clean it out again, and then finally the red. And we're going to mix it up and see what happens. As you can see, this, made, this has made kind of a murky, dark brown color. Um, it hasn't really made a distinctive new color, it's just sort of brown. So when you mix together all the colors, nothing really happens. Here in the instruction book, we can see what happens when you mix new colors together. And as you can see, it tells us the same thing. So what happens when you mix together primary colors together? Red and blue is going to get you violet or purple. Red and yellow is going to give us orange. And blue and yellow is going to give us green. So I don't know if you've heard about it, but this is the color wheel. The color wheel consists of the three primary colors, blue, yellow, and red. And then in between are going to come the colors that happens when you mix them together. So I don't have quite enough hands here, but I'm gonna show you. Orange comes between yellow and red green comes between yellow and blue, and then finally purple comes between red and blue. So this is the color wheel. I think this is a super fun experiment to do. You can do it at your home on your own using food dye or color pellets. For example, you could use the color pellets that you use when you dye Easter eggs, or if you have any food dye, you can use that as well. Um, you can also do this in a little bit of a different way, maybe a little bit more artsy. You can use colored pencils, um, it doesn't work quite as well, but you can use colored pencils, yellow, blue, and red, and kind of overlap them to get the new colors. So I'm wondering, have you ever heard about primary colors or the color wheel? And if you have, or if you haven't, go ahead and write it in the comments below. And I want to know, how did you learn this? Where did you learn this? Um, I think it's a really interesting thing because it's related both to science and to art. So I think this is an experiment that lots of different people could like. If you like this experiment, go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below. Be sure to comment, I'd love to hear all about what you think. And share it with your friends. And of course, be sure to subscribe to our channel for new experiments, more toys videos, and demos. It's great to see you, I'll see you next time. Thank you.